All right, welcome back to uh, the continuation of this Let's Play. Yeah, let's just yeah, got not, not got nothing really much to say. Let's just get started. Except that I don't know where to go. Already, I got a canoe. I see a river. I don't know what that means, you know, or what direction to go in. But I'm going to assume. We get in. I wonder if there's any special enemies. Hmm. No enemies so far. Okay, so not this way. It's kind of cool. No enemies. Kind of safe path. Hmm. It's probably to the right. That thing over here. Oh, if we can even get around it. No, we cannot. Is it up north? Let's try that out. But that's where the that ogre was. Now let's try it out. Don't really see anywhere else to go. Now, uh, instead of doing an auto attack, I want to see what this guy. Whoa, okay. He is, uh. fairly strong. Oh, he's got a lot of magic. Seems like more than 16, though. The new staff leveled up. I imagine it was... Well, it wasn't for this, because we can pass this. But we can't go out here. Yep. Something tells me I shouldn't be here. This guy seems very strong. Yeah. If I can survive this, I better leave. I just realized it. There are no levels. Yeah, I'm like, so what am I gaining? Hmm. Oh, that t oh so th as you level up, it's a level 7 cure. So that means it takes 7 MP. So I see how that goes. This makes sense. I don't think this is the right way. But where else can we go? Oh, not even more of these guys. Hmm. Let's see, do I just get any offensive magic? Let's try something. I didn't see how these this uh, magic look like, so let's try it out. I guess just Basuna. I just figured they were back. Probably better off just attacking. They were doing more damage, me doing melee damage. Thunder five, no bueno. Could do okay. We could do this. That's nice. Usually that's something. Sometimes you can only do that in, you know, not in battle. So it's nice to be able to do that in battle. Kind of protects us in this more dangerous area that we're probably not supposed to be in.
let's see, other games that were fun. All right, other games that seem interesting in the direct. Kind of. I used to be like, you know, I played a lot of Mario Kart. You know, when it, a couple years ago, I haven't played it in a long time, but 48 new tracks. That is, oh, we got Fire Tomb as an item drop. That's nice. That Apprentice Warrior achievement unlocked. Yeah, I think, I mean, 48 tracks is insane. I almost feel like they're trying to uh, position Mario Kart like, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. The auto battle. So what's the requirement for these upgrades? Like, how's he, how's he getting these? Spirit and agility. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think they're trying to position it like Smash Brothers. With the upgrade, you know, six waves, eight tracks or something. Something like that. Maybe this way? Okay, that's probably it. Yeah. Went, went the complete opposite direction, like right here. Oh, we got some levels. Some some gill. I mean, I guess it'll be fun. And it's... They're, you know... While I don't have the expansion pack online service, at least they're putting some value into that instead of just abandoning it. I better not do that again. Did auto battle again. Earthbound was pretty cool that they added that. It's been a long time. People have been asking for Earthbound for a long time. And that's also a game that I might want to play on or play as a let's play. It's once again a game I started and never finished. So, I think I got fairly, eh, probably, if I were to guess, probably halfway. I think I played it on my, is Gil? It's the, the fee we gotta pay based on how much recovery, recovery we need. Let's see. Now that we have full everything, we could just save that. And now we can mess around in town. Paloo. Another pirate town. Kind of like the first game. They love pirates. You folks wouldn't be looking for a passage on a ship, would you? For just 32 kill, we'll see you safely to Poff. Not yet. The Empire hasn't attacked Paloom or Poft, at least not yet. The ship's heading out of our little port will take you straight to Poft. Same thing. And that elixir is way expensive. more of these. Hmm. It's probably good enough for now. Maybe we'll get some gear when we get the Salamand, since we're kind of protected with Manu. Now there's a fine lass. How about you and me go get a, you and me go have a drink. With you, not a chance. That's cool that they switched the the sprite to uh, Maria. 
That actually reminds me, can I switch sprites? Oh, I can. I, lo I love this right here. This, this, this is a nice sprite. I'm, gonna st I'm probably going to stick with this one for a good portion of the game. Ah, this one. No way. This one, eh. N nothing special. Probably won't even be around that much longer. Probably second best. Let's see. Any new weapons? Maze. I thought he already had a maze. Metal tip stamp. Hmm. No thanks. I'm not buying gear for someone who's probably gonna leave. This is Paloom. It's just a little port town. There's probably nothing here, really. At least nothing of that much importance. Yeah, same stuff. Paloom, a town of freedom. Want to settle down here with me, handsome? Oh, I guess whoever she was talking to didn't want to respond. What can I do for you? Ooh, new magic. Expensive magic. Raises evasion, raises defense. These two are probably really important. I used them quite a bit in Final Fantasy 1. I don't know if I want to spend the money though. For now, we can probably come back here. Maybe. Later in the game. But the magic should probably be available in. In, in the next town we're getting to. Poft. Alright, let's go. Done, just board this ship in front of town and you're off, and off you go. Alright, and our journey begins. Save it in file one, in case we want to go back. Poft. That guy said go north from Poft, and we can get the Salamand. But let's, uh... Let's just talk to people here. This is the port of Poft. Salamand is to the north. And to our east is Baths. We can go back. No thanks. At least not now. Hmm. This guy sure looks important. Basque is the city to our east. It's under the control of the Empire. They're building something terrible there. Can I interest you folks in a ride on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship in its kind in all the world? No matter how far, we'll take you to your destination in the blink of an eye. Of course, transportation of this fine caliber comes at a cost. Interested? I'm sure it's something outrageous. Oh. Fairly reasonable. This can't be like... Can we really just go anywhere from here? It's interesting. I wonder if they actually let you go anywhere. Basque. Baths. Man, it's hard to say that. Baths. The city to our east is under the control of the Empire. They're building something terrible. Oh, yeah. Someone else said that. Yep, same dialogue. Same dialogue. Nothing new. Same thing. Secret wall? No? Alright, let's talk to what I'm assuming is Sid. Yep. 
you here to ride the airship? If you got cash, there's no place I can't take you. You want on the airship? You pay the guy behind me. Hmm. I don't think we need it, but we'll keep it in mind. Is it worth you checking? Probably sink items. Yep, same items. Can I talk to you? Have you seen the airship? It belongs to a fellow named Sid who lives right here in Poft. He's the only one around who can fly it. Anything over here? I guess this is the border. That was not as clear. Check out the weapons. Probably save our money for Salamand. Yeah. You'd be looking for Sid? He's probably over in the pub. I heard a few Gil will get you a ride on that airship of his. What can I do for you? Nothing new. That's probably why it's not a good idea to buy armor in the beginning town. Considering you find it for the next three or four towns. Hmm. For now we're good. Kinda wanna see what Leon's deal is. I think we talked to everyone. Alright. So just straight north. Sprinter. It's like some sort of set bird called Pelican? No. The beak kind of looks like a pelican. Kind of like a pelican ostrich mix. You know, I'm not really that much into D&D, &D, but I wonder how much inspiration they got in terms of, you know, monsters and whatnot. I know they got, you know, inspiration on the battle system. I wonder what else they got inspiration on. But imagine, you know, some of the dragons. So back to the direct. That Kirby game looked pretty good. I'm not much of a Kirby person. Honestly, I don't play any Kirby games. But that looked like Kirby Odyssey. Honestly, it just looked like another Odyssey game. Hmm. Probably gonna go the other way. Let's get a Kirby game. Let's see. Mario Strikers. Never played a Strikers game. I heard they're a lot of fun though, so that's good for the people that are into that series. What else? Hmm. I guess Splatoon 3. Splatoon is kind of fun. I got it, I got into Splatoon 2 for a while. And then it just, you know. It's one of the main reasons I don't play, like, I don't do a lot of online play. Like, Split, like Call of Duty or something like that. Or, you know, Splatoon. Or, you know, it's just, it's fun, you know, playing, playing online, competing with other people. But after a while, it just... It gets too repetitive for me. It's probably 
probably why I had a hard time, you know, with speedruns. Honestly, though, it kind of just looks like Splatoon 2 with some DLC added. Yeah, I'm not talking all three of you guys. You guys probably have the same stuff. Oh, it's kind of bright. Life. Sap. Warp. That life tomb, though. Anything we can sell? Hmm. We have extra stuff. If I just do this, I could use two swords. Okay. This looks interesting. Wonder how that'll go. But does that mean the axe is like a two-hander or something? Ugh, I was pushing the wrong buttons. Hmm. Doesn't say. Maybe I can have two axes equipped also. These places are so much smaller on the outside than they are on the inside. Let's see, what do you gotta say? Semet Falls is beyond the mountain range to the south of Salamand. Wait a minute. Aren't we aren't we in Salamand? That's where the Empire has been mining its mithril. The empires enslaved the men of Salaman and forced them to work in the cave at Semet Falls. Please, you have to help them. I think we're in the right place. I love Josef, but I know that if I'm around, I would just get in his way. That's the guy mining. Is he in here? You have business with me? Yep. Mithril? I haven't found any yet. I do have a few leads, but I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm gonna need you to do a little something to prove who you... to prove who you are... to prove you are who you say you are. There's a bunch of people from Salamand who are being forced to work in a cave at Semet Falls. Rescue them and we'll talk. You're here for Princess Hilda. A little short in the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. No, he doesn't believe us. There's a man who knows all about airships, but why should I tell you who he is? Alright. Guess he doesn't want to talk to us. What does that even mean? Shorten the tooth? Alright, so... We have to go north. So maybe this is the perfect time to buy some stuff. Longsword. Battle axe. So let's see. Hopefully I can use two of them. And hopefully I can use two of those. I don't know, should I keep... Like, what's the point of the longbow? I mean, it's weaker in all sense. Attack, accuracy, and evasion. Hmm. It's cheaper, I guess. Should I just do, like, double-handed with everyone? Hmm. 
let's... Hmm. Let's buy two more. Hopefully she can put two on. Oh, wow. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I bought those for you, so... I'm gonna have you use them for now. Or should I switch everyone over to axes? Let's do that. Even though I probably wasted some, uh... Some, uh, some gill. So I need 500. I guess I could just sell that. I wasted my money, but it's all right. I wasted. I'm sure we'll get that back. All right. Now, now that I spent all my money, I hope it works. Oh, I have nothing for armor. Interesting. So who should I get fire to? Might as well level that up also. So Furion already has it. Maria already has two spells. Let's give it to Guy. Let's do a couple battles out here. See how it goes. Quite pretty good. But how do I know? Oh, well, that's good. How do I know that he's using both? Makes both hands. Oh, text twice. Interesting. That's good. You, you can't control the second hit, so it kind of just attacks the next mob. Our next monster. Should level them up pretty quick, also. So let's just go where we need to go. We'll level up as as we go over there. But let's rest. I like that the gill is proportional to how much you need to heal. That's also a nice touch. So there's some nice things they added in this one. You know. I don't like how they remove the leveling though. It's, I don't know. It just seems so crucial to Final Fantasy. So we're not seeing it there. Alright. So... I'll end this episode here. And in the next episode we will go to the mountains in the north. Looks like we have to go to the left, so what? West, and then north, and then east again, once we go in that little... Yeah, it looks like, yeah. So that's what that looks like. Alright, so if you're enjoying this series, hit that subscribe button, whether you're on YouTube, Rumble, or BitChute. And thanks for watching, and have a good day.